today I need to feed the animals, need to get on with the events bar and I also need to make up some feed for the creek feeder. So I'll go along the road, pick up some barley, uh, also then mix in some oats which is in that trailer. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning Holly! So I'm just in the field of rape at the moment. Oh it's class. Big break down. It's the drill working there. Tiger guys have been in preparing for concrete, so they've put in their partition again, uh, shifted it from over there, put in rebar around the edges, um, still need to do polythene all around. I said the other day about these holes and what we're doing differently is we're making holes there. So Ian who's doing the shed um, for us along with the shed company, he basically thinks this is a better idea of doing it here because that's actually going to be concrete surrounding that hole so it'll be way more solid to the beam whereas here there's no concrete so you've still got a little bit of play of the rod within the hole whereas there that hole will get filled with concrete with the rebar through it so we're going to do the middle third and third next because we're struggling with concrete at the moment it's in short supply it's just a bit of a nightmare to get hold of we're going to do the middle section first and um, so that means two weeks i got that wrong by the way it's not four weeks to cure it's two weeks to cure so two weeks after this is poured we will have access um, to this piece and that piece so like two-thirds of the shed and then two weeks after that they'll go in and pour the, the last the last third so it gives us access to this side of the shed and it just means although the concrete's going to be delayed we'll still be able to use the shed which is fine it's not going to be that big an issue it'll still be ready basically in time firing along the road just now picking up some bruised barley so this year our calves are going to get a diet of 40% bruised barley, 40% whole oats and 20% um, rapeseed meal. There'll, there'll be minerals in there so minus a few percent of everything else but that's the kind of diet we're going to go for to this year but I've done a, bit of a wee bit of investigating and next year we're just going to go straight barley, straight bruised barley in the creep feeders. There is concern that they could gorge on it. Um, and they won't get protein content that they need. But at the age that the calves are at, versus their mothers, they're able to soak in a lot more of the protein content of the barley than older cattle can. I think it's like a cow can only take in a third of what a calf can, something like that. So they should get enough protein just from straight barley. And in terms of gorging, at this kind of young, at the young age, they seem to just nibble rather than gorge themselves on it. And um, with they've still, because they've still got the milk from their mothers, and they've still got grass to eat, so they don't go hell for leather on the on the barley. So next year we're going to try that. Um, we'll go straight barley, straight bruised barley. Just picking up the last of this uh, barley. There's just over two tons, so I'll just take it all. Not got any minerals left, so. Need to Need to order some, but they'll be all right. They're still getting what they want, what they need from the grass and the mothers, so we'll be fine without full minerals for now. Also need to get more of that barley bruised so we can make up feeding for the store calf along the road. Barley, two tonnish. Mix up with the oats and then we're good to go. Ah, oh, yeah, sick. Got this feed out, trailer's empty. Need to get the oats out of this trailer now. Let's mix them all together. Got the camzerito on the back door. That's the oats just getting tipped in there with the barley. That's it all mixed there, so now we'll go and put the feeder out. The calf's new toy.
size of that shed. She's a big one. Nearly had a wee break down there. Easy this. <laughs> Can't that. I've got the apprentice today. He's going to go in there and there's a boat on that side to take off before the lid will open up and we'll get it filled up. Calves are starting to queue up. Looking, looking for a thumbnail picture, mate. I'm just figuring it out. It'll take them a few minutes or maybe a bit longer. But basically, they come in here. I'll go in. Put their head to here and there you go, food for them. And it just means the cows and the bull can't get at it. Some of the calves are quite actually big, so it's gonna lift this rail up a run up to here. Hopper's full, calves are just getting ready to have a go. Hopefully the cows won't also try and have a go. They've already had their head into the hopper when I was filling it up to start eating. But anyway, they know there's food in there, which is dangerous. Anyway, hopefully they start eating, put on a bit of weight, start growing. They're growing, they're pretty, some of these are quite big, I mean that's cow next to it. A lot of growing to do, but getting there. There's a couple of calves just about in already, so I figured it out. It should just kind of move them on a bit, help the process when they come away from their mothers and they lose that milk source. And as the grass starts to deplete, they'll kind of build up onto that diet so it's less of a kind of stressful time to them less of a shock to the system when they, if their diet was to change completely if they were to go inside and then completely just change to a diet like that and be segregated from the mothers the diet would be go from strict grass and milk to um, barley oats rapeseed meal diet whereas doing this they can start eating more of that and possibly take in a wee bit less grass, a wee bit less milk and build them up a wee bit. Alright, so I've all my steel cut up. These are my brackets, one, two, three, four, five, and there's another one kicking about somewhere, six. So they'll be welded onto here. Then these uprights will slot into them. I've realised I put two bolts there, but I think we're better off. I'll keep one. Nah, actually, I'll keep the both and I'll put a tab on the bottom just so this can't, these can't slide at the bottom if you don't tighten it fully. But still a bit of adjustment in there. So, tap and die set. So, drill the hole and then separately tap it. This is called a tap and it cuts the threads inside the hole. And then you're meant to put it into this and do it by hand, but I'm just going to put it in the drill, which you probably shouldn't do. You're probably going to end up snapping these, but anyway, I'm going to do it. Do it all the time. By the way, taps are not meant to go in drills. The purists will be fuming. That's all my brackets, ready to go. One more here and one already welded on so I just need to now run around weld each piece on um, and then we're good to then start making the uprights. All going perfectly well. Had those four and these two made up and then the end pieces I had to chop off a bit of angle. Um, to put the end boards on and that's when I made a meal of it because I've chopped the same side off of both of them so they only work their two um, right sides 
no, two left sides. So I've only got two left sides and not two right sides. So before I added those brackets, they were kind of, you can just flip, you could just flip them upside down, it was fine. But can't do that anymore because those brackets are there. So the easiest option is to take one of these brackets off and move it to that end. Something had to go wrong. It was going too smoothly. That's it squared up now. Shifted that bracket from the bottom up to here. So they're all now right. Three of the panels are made up. That's the end boards. And I'm just packing it in for the night. I've done quite a bit there. So good progress. So you only really need a couple of more evenings, afternoons at it, and it should be finished. Yesterday's question of the day was, what was that symbol meaning that Dad was making? That means stop for a cup of tea, and that also means cup of tea as well. So you don't want to see the, oh, that symbol generally means you've done something like reverse into a wall, or drop something off a pallet. Never happened before to me, though. No chance. Mm -hmm.